Approaching the final weekend, and uh, therefore the finals uh, in the rodeo and chucks, and you're wrapping up day seven for us right yeah, now. Yeah, a whole lot of action to come yet, and an interesting day down at the rodeo on a Thursday. A couple of Canadians winning their events, making a push for a semifinal showdown tomorrow afternoon. Actually, the semifinals would be uh, Sunday morning, tomorrow's wild card Saturday. But we told you this was a guy to watch yesterday, mm -hmm. and he came up big. Matt Shizawa of Chubbuck, Idaho, stopping the clock in 7.1 seconds to top the day on pool. Will be vaults himself into second place of the standings behind Fred Whitfield. Those two should have quite a duel in those semifinals Sunday morning, and they'll get to sit back likely and uh, watch the wild card action on sun Saturday. All right, we move on to <laughs> Steer. I know days get confusing. Maybe. Steer wrestling now. Yeah, Cody Cassidy of Donalda at the uh, back of the pack for the first two days of Pool B came up huge yesterday, putting up a four-second run, sitting fifth in the standings. Now they'll need a good run plus some help to get into the semis, but it's tight in there, and there's a lot of room to make, do some damage this afternoon. So I will be watching the Cassidy very closely today. And watching Bearback right now. Well, that's Casey Field of Spanish Fork, Utah. He's got Turkish whiskey here, and he scores an 89 and a half. That's good enough to put Field in the top spot in the overall standings, just ahead of Manitoba's Oren Larson. Uh, the scores were pretty good in yesterday's Bearback. They've had a good. Uh, Lots of good stock to draw mm. from in the, the bear back here at Pool B. I know you've been watching Larson. Now moving on to Saddlebronk. Court Schneer, Sheer, excuse me, of Ellesmere, Nebraska, scores an 87 on Just My Luck, moves him into third place. And that's a tie with Zeke Thurston, who we saw on our program mm. the other day from Big Valley. Told you to watch him yesterday, and he scored an 84 and a half himself. And a name we keep hearing in barrel racing. Yeah, and it's uh, good to hear this name. A uh, Canadian, Tara Muldoon of Hinton, has pulled into the top spot in the overall standings for Pool B. Remarkably consistent through three events, and it's paying off. Stops the clock here, 1748, and qualified for the semis on Sunday morning. All right, and a name you like to say, good cowboy name. Some guys are born to be cowboys, right? Stetson Lawrence. Had the best ride of the day for the second straight day in Pool B. That means he's won $11,000 in two days. 89 on Big Red right here. And uh, that's a tie now. Two guys with 11000 A lot of people in the money, including J.B. Mooney, drawn a bull named Gretzky today, and that could be a great one. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, now moving on to the Chucks. To the Chucks. Heat number four is where we take you. Mark Sutherland takes the tight turn on the number one barrel, and he's off, and his time of 1 minute 10.47 is the fastest on the night, and that vaults Sutherland in a ninth spot in the overall standing, sitting just outside that top eight. That'll make Saturday's semifinal showdown interesting to watch as well. Uh, you've got to make top eight to get into that uh, semifinal. That's right. Okay, let's take a look at the top four here. Our leaderboard, Kurt Benzmiller, uh, Mike Vegan, Logan Gorst, and Vert Vern Nolan still rounding out the top four. Not much in the way of change there. Uh, Jason Glass still knocking at the door in the top eight as well. Okay, something uh, you wanted to show us now. Well, we're talking about Cowboys to watch yeah. and really heading into the final weekend with wild card action tomorrow and the semis and the finals on Sunday. you got to watch them all. Uh, but it's hard not to notice uh, Fallon Taylor, the barrel racer, who has qualified for Sunday's action. There she is on your screen. <laughs> she was up in Edmonton last night. She drove, fifth, I think, 13 hours from somewhere in the States, a rodeo there, uh, stopped in Calgary, fed her horses, and then drove another three hours up to Edmonton for good reason. Her husband plays for the Ottawa Red Blacks, and she's never seen him play. Uh, he spent some time with the Dallas Cowboys, and uh, they did. Uh, they were able to spend more time together. She's a Texan, uh, but now that he's at Edmonton or uh, Ottawa Red Blacks, she doesn't get to see him much. Right. So uh, just being three hours up the highway, she drove up, took in the game, got in her truck, and came back down, and she'll be competing Sunday. And you, like, like I said, it's, it's hard not to notice her. She's always wearing neon pink, mm -hmm. and she, I think she had like this red hair this long flying out of the back of her helmet. I'm right. one of the only barrel racers to wear a helmet, too. So watch for her, and uh, <laughs> let's watch for uh, Sydney Danes yep. and uh, the other barrel racers. So who did we see? Uh, Tara Muldoon. Those are the two Canadians that everybody's going to be watching. But uh, we're looking for Sydney Danes to come out of the wild card just because I'm good friends with her family. Ah, okay. Yeah. So there you go. I go for that too. Uh, and yeah, going to be a big weekend with some big money awarded on Sunday. Uh, 